Welcome to another edition of EMU Soccer Weekly here on Eagle All Access. Adam Kuffner once again joined by EMU head coach Scott Hall. And coach, two, two games this weekend to start Mid-American Conference play came out with a 4-1 victory over Northern Illinois, then defeated Toledo, able to hold off the Rockets and win 4-3. to three. Has to be a good start to start conference play 2-0. Yeah, you love the points. Six points at home. you got to take care of those home games and hope you, you can at least split on the road. So we're excited for the two wins and uh, starting our preparation for Bowling Green. And you started a four-game winning streak, and you scored four game or four goals in each of those contests. Seventeen goals total, and that's the most scored in the four-game span in program history. And that has to be something that uh, uh, you have to be proud of. Is there a certain thing that you've seen in training or during the games that that stuck out that's been the reason for these goals? Uh, I mean, we've we've really worked on, and it's probably been three years of really working on our uh, transition, our transition from defending to attacking and I think through the middle third we've done a good job of winning the soccer ball and getting forward quickly and we've got players who you know they, they can score if you give them chances to. And speaking of that offense ranked 24th in the nation in scoring offense also fifth in assist and you lead the conference in goals assist and points and going back to the assist is that something that you emphasize during training do you emphasize the, the team to share the ball and find people for the open goal? Well I think you've got you know uh, in you, you've got four or five kids that can score that can also get the ball forward. So I think when when you have that and you kind of create that atmosphere where we're trying to get the ball forward quickly and getting people to goal, um, once one starts to get the hang of it and the second one wants to get the ball too, and it just kind of is uh, it goes from there. Everybody wants to get forward and get chances to get to score goals. So we've been lucky uh, throughout training. Things have been pretty good with it. And speaking of those offensive threats, it seemed like Kara Kataya really stepped up to start the season. Angel, Angelo Vitaggio last week got started to get things going, was MAC Offensive Player of the Week. Now this week, Bianca Rossi being named Offensive Player of the Week. So needless to say, it has to be pretty good to have all that depth on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, we got to keep the three of them going. You know, Martha got a goal this weekend too. Um, Emily Zike out of the back on a set piece. Um, all those little things start to add up once you get to the max season. So we need everybody continuing on their way. Steph Clark, we've got to get her a little more involved on the set pieces. Um, and I think uh, we can make a good run at it. And you take the four-game winning streak to Bowling Green to start MAC play on the road this Friday. Uh, that game is under the lights. And what are the keys uh, going to be for your team to come out with a victory over the Falcons? Uh, I mean, I think Bowling Green struggled a little bit through the, you know, the, this is uh, their third coach in a couple of years. Uh, so I think they're probably trying to implement some new things. Uh, with that, I mean, we, we've got to just stick with what we're, we've been doing well at, our transition, uh, offense to defense, defense to offense, and, and just kind of do what we do best um, and kind of stay focused with that. We love playing under the light, especially on a Friday night. That'll be a fun for us. I know the, the players love that. So we'll just kind of focus on what we can do um, and whatever teams we run into, we'll see what we can do. And then following that matchup, you do go to Central Michigan, and they finally got things going after struggling a little bit non-conference. They got a pair of MAC victories, and now they stand tied atop the West Division with you at 2-0 and 0. And with the Central Michigan Chippewas, what's it going to take for to get a victory there? Not only because they are an in-state rival, but also because they're tied atop the West Division. Well, what I like about playing Central is we used to always have to play them the last game of the season, and uh, you know, going to Mount Pleasant in the uh, in the November time frame is never much fun so playing them now where we get a little bit of better weather um, I, I think bodes well for us since we've had so many years going there then uh, Peter who's done a great job to start off I mean some tough situations there um, has turned things around got a great start to the Mac um, and again going to Central it's the same thing just trying to do what we do best and focusing on what what we can do to kind of make the game easier for us uh, but they're, defensively, they're gonna, they're very organized. They're gonna sit in, counter a little bit off of us, and we're gonna have to deal with some new situations. So each week's gonna present some new challenges. And Coach Hall and the Eagles are gonna look to keep their four-game winning streak going, increase that winning streak with a couple matches on the road. Although they're not gonna be here at Sakuna Field, you can get all the coverage on EMUEagles.com. For Adam Kuffner and Scott Hall, thanks for joining us here on Eagle All Access.